Permanent residency should be given to people who are legally here. They didn't follow the rules. I just think that people should be able to move freely in this world. Paying under the table, you know that? You know that's going on? Well, I mean, no. if you're, if you're you, illegal, it's, you're, 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 you're making it up. It. Well, the city of Toronto isn't just satisfied with being a sanctuary city for illegal immigrants. They're now taking it upon themselves to advocate for regularizing illegal immigrants across the country. That means, in English, putting illegal immigrants on a pathway to permanent residency and eventually citizenship. Last week in the building behind me, the city hosted its first ever undocumented residence day in which the deputy mayor of Toronto, Asma Malik, advocated for regularizing all undocumented residents and said that immigration rules uphold systems of colonialism and anti-black racism. We amplify calls from community leaders and advocates for an immediate, broad and inclusive regularization program that provides pathways to permanent resident status for all undocumented residents. Together, we will continue to dismantle systems of colonialism and anti-black racism, and we reflect on the enhanced vulnerability that racialized communities with precarious immigration status experience. Funny that we're now being told by far-left radical activists masquerading as political leaders that immigration rules uphold systems of colonialism and anti-black racism when in reality, the immigration rules in place in this country right now have facilitated record population growth. How racist are these immigration rules if we're getting millions of people into this country every single year through different streams of our immigration rules? And according to activist groups like the Migrant Rights Network, there could be up to 500,000 illegals living in Canada. Half a million illegals. And the politicians behind me, including Olivia Chow, it would seem, want to give permanent residency and citizenship to all 500,000 illegals. Well, what does that mean for those that immigrated to this country legally? What does that mean for the rules that we have had in place for many years now to facilitate proper immigration, not illegal immigration in this country? If the argument is that immigration rules uphold systems of colonialism and anti-black racism, then why have immigration rules at all? Why not just have a complete open border and let anyone into this country with any background, any set of skills, because according to the activists inside City Hall, immigration rules are simply just racist. Well, we're going to ask people in this city what they think about these statements made by the deputy mayor of Toronto. We're going to ask them if they think undocumented residents or illegal immigrants should be given citizenship in this country and what they think about immigration rules in general. Should there be immigration rules at all? Or should we just have a completely open border and let anyone into this country? Let's see what the residents of Toronto have to say. I feel like there shouldn't be borders at all. You don't think so? No. So you think that immigration rules are just, you know, well, the city says that immigration rules uh, uphold colonialism and anti-black racism. Do you agree with that? Um. I agree with the city taking all of our tax money and not being accountable for it. I don't know about the immigration. Immigrants built this country, so it, they, we need immigrants. We do. We were let in 1.3 million this year, the most ever. And I don't think they're to blame for the hardships we're going through. I think it's just lack of management because we're making, we get paid more. We pay more than our fair share of taxes. Like with all these skyscrapers going up, I was thinking about it last night, 25 years ago, they weren't expecting to have this many skyscrapers. Where's all this money going? Why do you think homes, for example, have doors and gates to, to, uh, to provide security? Do you think that there's a, there's a, a difference there? Like, don't you think a, a country should be able to determine who and who doesn't come into their country and live there? Did the natives get to determine who got to come here? The, the natives? The, the indigenous people of this country. Well, I, I suppose not, but Every other country has immigration rules. What do you think about that? Do you think that it's right for some countries to have immigration rules and not others? No, I just think that people should be able to move freely in this world. They're advocating for the federal government to grant illegal immigrants permanent residency. What do you make of that? I'm not so sure. It all depends on deserving cases if you have to review individually. And if they are uh, worth it, 
they ought to, otherwise they should be thrown out. Do you think that something like this incentivizes people to not follow the rules that many people did by coming to this country, by following the immigration rules? Uh, that is true, they didn't follow the rules. But the problem with following the rules, I would say a challenge for them, is that have you ever seen, heard or read of the lineup uh, and the bureaucracy involved in following the rule for immigration? Oh, I've heard, yes. But there you have it. You have your answer right there. Now, so if they were to make it efficient system to follow the rules in which they can reject or accept the thing and I, I think that will be far better than trying to uh, create an incentive for the illegal bunch. Most of the immigrants come here because they're uh, brought in for as temporary workers, well, that of course, sort of those thing. Those are the legal ones. I'm talking about those that have that have entered the country illegally or overstayed their visas, so it's particularly or overstayed for, their visas, yes. for that, that. Do you agree with that, Cole? Absolutely. Yeah, what, and why is that? Because if we were to send all the illegal immigrants back, as you're calling them, the construction industry in this city would fall apart. These are people who are working, have jobs, are paying taxes off their, off their wages, and they get nothing for it. But those this is okay. the not the Canadian way of doing things. Apparently it is. So yeah, we are not friendly to those to those people who are coming here and are contributing. So yes, we regularize them absolutely. Okay, because if you're if you're here illegally, then you wouldn't be able to work a proper wage because you don't have you wouldn't be able to have a bank account. So those that those that are working and are illegal would be working under the table. So uh, perhaps temporary foreign workers perhaps. And, and permanent residents they can they can work. See what I mean? Paying under the table, you know that, you know that's going on. Well, I mean, no, if you're, if you're you, an illegal, it's, if you're, you're, you're making it up. You're making it up. Okay. You don't know how they get their paychecks. Most of them have to pay the same kind of tax as we do and get nothing for it. So, yes, absolutely those people need to be regularized. We're taking advantage of them as we do with temporary foreign workers and a lot of other people. We ask them to come in, contribute to the country, and give them very little back. And then when we're tired of them, we send them back. So no, that is not the way we should be doing it. You things. think deportations should end for all illegal immigrants in the city, in Canada? That's what the city wants. You're stretching it. What we're doing is, if somebody commits a crime, right. then they go into the criminal justice system. Otherwise, let's treat them like my grandfather was treated, who came here from England without any documents, got himself a job, and settled here, and I'm a result of that. It was okay to do it when it was British citizens, part of the empire. If you were white, then it was okay. Now we're in a different time and suddenly it's not Canadian to keep these people. Yeah, regularize people who are coming here to do the same thing I'm assuming your grandparents did and my grandparents did. We're asking Torontonians if they agree with the City Hall, City Hall last week that they called to give status to all undocumented residents in Canada. Do you agree with that call? Yeah, sounds great. And why is that? Um, no one's illegal, man. So do you think that people who who are undocumented, who have not followed the immigration rules, do you think that impacts those that have their, their immigration status? No. And why not? Because, listen, we got jobs for everyone. We got more than enough to go around. It's about how it's distributed. The last question I have for you is the, uh, the deputy mayor last week said that immigration rules uphold systems of colonialism and anti-black racism. Do you agree with that? Do you think that the... Uh, the immigration rules are racist in nature? Yes. Look at how we, how open we were to Ukrainians versus how open we are to refugees in the conflicts that are happening now, not just in Palestine, but in Congo, Sudan. We're not taking anywhere near the level we are, and it's because we have a preferential treatment for white people coming to this country. It's good to welcome people into our country because our country is already, like, we have so much land that is not being used. So why not put it to good use? Do you think that this would in this would reward those that have broken the law and then disincentivize others to follow immigration laws in the future? I think that like giving people crap for immigrating even if it is illegally is wrong because it's still like they're most likely fleeing from a situation that is not good for them. So I think it would actually if we welcomed people I think it would help like in making people feel like they could come legally to Canada. And the last question I have for you is the deputy mayor last week said that the immigration rules uphold systems of colonialism and anti-black racism. Do you agree with that? 
that it upholds it, that yeah, allowing that, immigrants upholds. No, no, that the Im the current immigration rules upholds uh, systems of colonialism and anti-black racism. I think so. Yes. And and why why is that? Um. Well, because we, it's basically just allowing not allowing people of color to enter Canada if they want to. Okay. And if they feel like they like if they apply and if they are denied, it's kind of giving them that like, oh, they are not welcome here. So it's still prioritizing like white people and over people of color for entry. Illegal immigrants, they don't want them to be deported. They want to give them all a, a status, essentially. Do you agree with that, Cole? Illegal immigrants? Yeah. Uh, probably not. No, I don't agree. No? Why is that? I feel like if you need... If they want to incorporate people into our country and like our system, they should at least be legal. That's and it. You, you, the deputy mayor said that the immigration laws in Canada facilitate anti-black racism and colonialism. I'm guessing you don't agree with those statements either? Uh, it would not make sense for me to agree with that, yeah. Permanent residency should be given to people who are legally here, who, you know, uh, go through a process, either it's study permit, work permit, or any other thing but not to illegal immigrants. And do you think that giving PR to illegal immigrants lowers the value of Canadian citizenship for those that came to this country the right way and, and legally? Yes, I think so. I think priority should be given to people who came legally. Either it's any permit, but priority should be given to legally people, yeah. Many people don't know this, but Toronto is a sanctuary city. It gives, it gives city services shelters and other and other programs to illegal immigrants and it won't disclose their immigration status what do you make of that they've been doing it for over over a decade now i i had no clue about it i think i think they should look at the policies whoever needs it they should give it to them but i, I don't know about that yeah and the last question i have for you is the deputy mayor of toronto last week she said that the rules in place for immigration the immigration rules uphold systems of colonialism and anti-black racism. How would it be racist? I think Canada is, a, you know, based on different um, culture-oriented people. I don't, I don't think it's based on racism. Yeah, because uh, people from different worlds, like different uh, parts of the world, they come here. I, I don't think it's based on racism, no? Well, we heard from Torontonians that no one is illegal, that there shouldn't be borders at all, that illegal immigrants should be given all of the rights that are given to permanent residents and citizens, and that the immigration system in Canada is itself racist, in full agreement with what the uh, SETI councillors were saying in the building behind me last week. I guess it's not that surprising, however. After all, it was Toronto residents who voted for Olivia Chow. But think about this, with all of the problems facing our country, facing this city, the fact that our shelters are full of migrants, the fact that people are unemployed, the fact that no one can really afford to buy a home anymore in this country and everything is so expensive. We have elected officials in the biggest city in Canada calling on the federal government to allow all illegal immigrants to stay as permanent residents and then to turn around and say that anti-immigrant sentiment is on the rise. Actually, I don't think anti-immigrant sentiment is on the rise. I think people across this country are fed up with the fact that they can no longer afford to purchase a home, that they can't seem to get entry-level jobs, that their cities and their country is changing before their eyes, and it was no longer the place that it was. This country is extremely welcoming to immigrants. The mayor herself is of an immigrant background. Look around this country. Business leaders, politicians, have come to this country as immigrants and have made something for themselves. They've come here the right way. They've come here legally. So then to hear an elected official in this city tell us that our immigration system is racist and colonial and therefore we need to allow illegal immigrants to come into this country and be given permanent residency is a complete joke. It devalues citizenship for those that have come to this country the right way, who have followed the rules. I'm almost certain that if I were to ask this question to people living somewhere else across this country, of course we would get different answers. But to those living in downtown Toronto, living in the bubble of Toronto, I guess it's no surprise to hear that they believe Canada should have no borders at all. From downtown Toronto, signing off, Harrison Falcon.